hold up. <laughs> it's too tall for me. No, no, no. Well, good afternoon, because I'm sure it's already past 11. <laughs> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This speech was brought to you by Red Bull, seriously, <laughs> by Purity, and by viewers like you graduates. First off, I want to thank everyone for attending this semester's graduation. Now, graduates, I don't know if you know me, so I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce myself and also to teachers and guests. My name is Paulina Teron Mondragon. I'm from Mexico, and I'm this year's Board of Things. You may have had seen me in school, or you may have had not, as it is very hard to spot a five feet tall Mexican girl <laughs> walking around a crowded hallway. It is very hard to find your friends. <laughs> now, to begin with, I want all of us to give a round of applause to the 2016 December class of graduates. <laughs> the first time I came to this school, I was 12, just 12. And I didn't know what the future held for me. I was very scared. Today, I am 17, and I am graduating high school, once again, not knowing what the future holds. This time, though, I am not scared. I am eager to start a new stage in my life. This semester was filled with so many unknown experiences for us graduates. And we probably did not think this semester would go the way it did. If we take a time to look back to the semester and to look where we are right now, think of how much everybody, not only graduates, everybody, has grown as a person, each of us individually. What are the difference between who we were and who we are right now? Is the you, is the real you inside of you or are you hiding it? I also wonder, what are you thankful for? We can be thankful for simple things, such as waking up and making it for grad or for the boss today in the morning, or we can be thankful because your daughter, your son, or your student is graduating. Or also, we can be happy and thankful for the friends we made in CIC. One of the things I am the most thankful for is for getting to know myself. In school or in high school, we learn that it is okay to not go with the flow. It does not matter if people do not accept your actions, because they are your actions, they are not their actions, and it will affect you. And the people that care for you will stay with you. So I want for all of us to look back and realize how important it is to accept and recognize how far we've come. I also want to thank the athletic department for truly caring for us, the students, and for pushing us to give our very best. I remember how at the beginning of the semester in rugby's, rugby's club, only a handful of students knew the skills required for rugby, while the others, we didn't know. Although that did not stop Mr. John or Mr. Oliver from teaching us the skills and not only teaching us, for, but for helping us develop them further and just becoming very good or understanding the game. We're also taught among, in every sport, you're taught to get the momentum of life. If you know, if you're familiar with athletics, you may recognize the word and how important it is. You understand how one little success can change the demeanor of an, entire, of an entire team. One turnover, one block shot, one forehand winner down the line. Momentum begins to grow, and confidence builds, and impossible becomes achievable. If you had told me four years ago that I will be sitting on the stage waiting to give a speech, I would not have believed you because because I was a troublemaker, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> um, but I changed. I changed thanks to student development. 
So which is why I want to thank on behalf of the whole December graduating class, the Student Development Department. And I also want to thank for being responsible for helping me become the person I am today. So thank you. It is funny how life works, because the first time I met Miss Kathy, the head of student development, was four years ago, and it was in her office when I was 12. And she was telling me I was not allowed to go to the Wonderland trip. So keep in mind, I was 12, OK? I was devastated. <laughs> it was horrible. So it got me thinking, why do I keep, why do we students, or people in general, keep behaving in ways that will not benefit the future you. And then I thought, well, how can I behave so my actions or our actions can benefit the future us? I had unknowingly just made a question that remained important to me today as it was four years ago. After my first year in Colombia International College, my sister and I moved to Drummondville just to study, but little did we know we were going to come right back to CIC the year after. <laughs> While we studied there, we realized how much we miss CIC. And we, we realized how important every department of a school, or of CIC specifically, makes the school a great school. So we want to thank all of the departments, including the maintenance department, SODEXO, housekeeping, liaison, accounting, every department for helping us achieve what we have achieved to get here. Also, we want to thank them for guiding this generation of graduates throughout our high school journey to achieve our goals and making us feel at home. Similarly, I want to thank the whole residence staff because you have treated us students like, um, like family and helped us whenever we fell down. Alongside with the RLP, Residence Life Prefect program, we expected and we hoped to make the best, the time you had in CIC, the best of your, the best part. So I really hope that whomever lived in residence and got to experience the RLP program, I hope you guys like it because it was a lot of effort put by a lot of people from student development as well as staff residents and students. Four RLPs are graduating today, or five. We are five. <laughs> We're graduating, because I still think I'm here. <laughs> uh, we're graduating, and we, we expected to help you throughout your journey here. So, in Resis, it feels like a small home, with each wing being like a small multinational community because of all the races we have. In here, we learn that family is thicker than blood. And after four years in CIC, CIC became my family. The people that become our family aboard will not only help us overcome obstacles, and you will help them as well, but they will also help you, and you will help them come out of them stronger. So th just look around you and remember the people you spend your semester with, who you are graduating, and the memories you shared with them. I think most of us are honestly guilty of is the keeping in touch part of living. Tell me how many of the friends you said you were going to text are you actually going to text? Probably only a handful of them. After graduation, we have to keep in touch because you have to think of friendships as a sensitive knot that has to be needed with care in order to last. And we may not realize it now, but we may have already made lifelong friends. And leaving the country or going to different universities should not be the reason to part ways in life. And this applies to all the friendships that have been forged in CIC, like the one you guys have with your roommates, or like the one you have with the people that teach you, or the people that drive you back and forth. Those people you consider your friends, remember to take care of those friendships and to not abandon them once you graduate. Right now, I'm doing what our moms tell us to do whenever somebody does something nice for you. I'm saying thank you. So, in behalf of the whole graduating class, I'd like to, to thank the academic department and teachers for teaching us and for helping us become the person we are. Now, 
When we think our teachers, teachers, it is very hard to find the right words to thank you. Because you guys have helped so much in ways that most of us may not even realize it. And you have dedicated time of your life to help others succeed. So we thank you for that. You guys have willingly wake up, have we willingly woken up at 8.45 every morning just to see our morning faces. That I applaud you because it is hard. <laughs> we right now are at a beautiful age. We are at an age where greatness is waiting for us. We are at an age where we can change. We can change our paths, but we cannot change our past. And I have a quote, is the way I view life is, is a metaphor for life, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Life is a soccer game. Destiny is a referee. The loved ones are on the sidelines cheering us on. Our best friends are our teammates. And the defenders are your obstacles. The middle fielders are your opportunities. And the goals are your ambitions. Your missed shots are your failures. And we have to learn how to predict the next play before it happens. Just remember to always keep your head up and shoot for your goals as we make a smooth transition into life beyond school. Take a moment to reflect on what you have achieved. Think of those who have stood by your side and take a moment to look back and see and appreciate how far all of us have come today. Today is our opportunity to acknowledge our accomplishments. Thank you.